Hi gang. How's everybody doing? Um, awesome to see everybody. I see Andrew's out there. Some of the regular customers, Richard made it looks like Mark Barris. <laughs> hey gang. And Chris, how are you? Great to see you. Don't forget to unmute. <laughs> doing good. Awesome. awesome to have you as a guest. I was able to watch your show last week. I saw you on Steve Dotto's show. I mean, you've been all over the place talking about some of the stuff and talking about the things we're talking about tonight. So I'm really excited. Can't wait to hear what you got to say, because it's one of my favorite things. We were just talking about this beforehand. I just love Google photos. So tell us what you're up to, where you are. Are you local right now? Uh, well, I'm in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Okay. Well, coming to you via the magic of this internet and stream yard <laughs> thing. First time I've ever used stream yard. So Always count on you to come up with something new for us, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Keep us on our toes. Uh, and and yeah, I just always love talking about Google Photos. Can't can't now, get enough of it. You know, I've got to ask you this, okay? Because I know I know for a fact that you just was you were in Australia earlier this year. New Zealand and Australia, yes. New Zealand and Australia. Are we going to see any of those pictures today? Oh, be careful what you wish for. <laughs> sit through the slideshow. We get to sit through the slideshow. <laughs> the 200 version. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, no doubt. No, I know. I mean, it's just amazing. One thing that I really like that you did, though, is you shared an album on your uh, on your website. Tell everyone what your website is. Just throw it out there Geeks for on them. Tour.com. That's it. It's that simple. Geeksontour.com. So, and, and, and you had like a, um, uh, rolling photos of just what was going on each event. It was so awesome to see that. Well, that is one of the just very best things about Google photos is you can create an album and put just one photo in it, you know, just to have it created. And mm -hmm. then as you go add photos to that album. You can give the link to that album. Oh, thank you. Very nice. Oh, no, you're welcome. That's all right. You can give the link to that album to all your friends. You can post it publicly if somewhere if you want to, but uh, anybody with the link can see it. And as, I mean, if you followed us in New Zealand, then you know that every day that we added more photos, you got a notification. Exactly. Golly, that was so cool. I mean, that was, that was really awesome. I love that. I love that ability that Google Photos gives you that ability to. I know, Heather, when you did your traveling thing across, we could follow that as well as whenever new pictures came in and stuff like that, we were able to see it because we followed that album. God, so nice. So then, Heather, I'm curious, if, if you did that same thing, do mm -hmm. you bother to delete any photos from Google Photos? Uh Interesting. That's a good Delete question. Delete photos from Google Photos yeah. or from that album? No, from Google Photos. Because the, the, the traditional, the conventional wisdom for organizing your photos mm. is to take a bunch, but delete all the riffraff. Oh, oh yeah. Some people, some people have time to do that. Yeah. Exactly. That's work. And I say yeah. no. <laughs> Yeah, so, I, you know what I have. I will admit that I have been lately. What I have been doing is taking, you know, four or five photos during a live show. I'm live streaming every day, so I'm getting a lot of photos in a week. And I also share that that photo over on Instagram, and then my Instagram pictures actually back up to my Google photos as well. So I sort of end up with duplicates. They're not, they're totally different pictures, but, mm -hmm. um, but I do sort of end up with duplicates. So I do go through and remove one of those, usually whichever one I don't love, but, um, but only that's only been the last couple of weeks because I've been taking, you know, five, six, sometimes 10 photos each morning. And that's, that's just the art that I'm doing, not, you know, normal photos, what you do around the house or whatever. So, mm -hmm. you know, I found myself doing like with, we were at my, uh, granddaughter's for her birthday. We were down there. We were taking, everybody was taking all kinds of pictures. What I find myself doing, I find the best ones or whatever. Or it picks a lot of the best ones. And I just, I make a whole nother album with just those. Mm -hmm. just, right. 
Right. I, I find myself just that, doing that. I, that is probably what I spend my time doing is creating mm -hmm. an album of the photos I like and then mm -hmm. leaving the rest sometimes Sometimes removing them, but very, very, very rarely. We do. You just don't have to. I mean, when I we, when we were in New Zealand, we went to this one place, for example, that is the movie set for The Hobbit. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, it, it was just so cool. I mean, yeah, you can't get enough pictures of that place. <laughs> no. So I mean, I probably took two hundred pictures in the one hour. Yeah, yeah easy. Hour That's there. easy to do. Yeah. And I am not going to delete any of those. Stories. I would not either. But but I'm still a front door. It's still a front door. It's not changing. It's still a front door. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> but that would be work to delete them. So yeah. what Google Photos allows you to do, since it's unlimited storage for free, is don't bother deleting. Mm. Just pick the best ones to put in an album and that's what you share. And that's awesome. where I go back. If I want to review, you know, look at my New Zealand, I don't look at my Google Photos library. I look at my New Zealand album. Now, yeah. I will say there is one really cool feature that I've been doing recently. And, um, and it really was cool when we were traveling is I made a photo of just my immediate, or an album, I'm sorry, of just my immediate family members. Like, you know how it recognizes your face? Mm -hmm. And it just, and and then it says, like it recognized that it took a picture of me and my husband and said, do you want to add this to the family album? I'm like, yeah, I do. And then I shared that with the kids and they actually got to see us going on tour and stuff, but not have all of the Craft Shack stuff that I also took along with me during that so they just got the family album which is what the, they don't care about the rest of what we were doing right they only cared about the pictures that we were ourselves faces were in so that was kind of cool. yeah and it can do that automatically and it was automatic i know yeah. that's what was so yeah. cool and what and i love we have the google home hub so they're little mm -hmm. screens mm -hmm. and when you're not doing something else on the hub or our big tv running chromecast it's showing a live slideshow. I mean, we our TV is always on. Mm -hmm. you know, it's not always on TV. Mm -hmm. It's on just the Chromecast. So it's like a giant screensaver and it and it will show whatever albums we have told it to, including a uh, just recent highlights. So yeah. it picks those. And yeah, we'll we'll go out out to an event, and when we come home, we look at the screen and we see pictures from that event. <laughs> so cool! That is awesome. I love that. Yeah. I, that's one of the features I think is just amazing. Hey, Roy, I wanted to say hey to you. Thank you for stopping by. Modern Day Tech. Modern Day Tech is going to come on and see us next week or a couple of weeks, whatever it is. But he's going to come on the show, so it's going to be good having that guy. So good to see you guys out here. Well, let's get to it. Uh, how about if you uh, put together whatever you got to put together? This is this is uh, like the main title said when we first opened up here. But we're, we'll, we can sit here and talk photos forever. I know. Yeah, but, we got three uh, three fans right here, big time. Yeah. I know. I know. So we're, but we're talking about Google Drive and the Google Photos together. So and the divorce. <laughs> <gasps> Mom and Dad are getting a divorce. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. There so I, I've, I've prepared a few, a, a few slides and a, and a little yeah. bit of demo. It'll. I expect this to take me about ten minutes, and then we can just go back to, to questions. Yep. So this was an official announcement a couple of weeks ago that Google Photos and Google Drive are changing how they work together. Basically, they're not working together anymore. Mm. But the thing is, very few people ever actually used this functionality. Mm. So I really want to stress not to be stressed about it. So <laughs> let me tell you exactly. Oh, first, I, ha I have to introduce myself and that I do have some expertise in this. I wrote a book on Google Photos and I am a platinum level product expert for Google Photos. And Google Photos will no longer sync with Google Drive. So there were two settings. 
one setting on Google Photos said, sync photos and videos from Google Drive. Then there was also a setting in Google Drive that said, automatically put your photos in from Google Photos mm -hmm. into a folder in my drive. But those settings were off by default. So if you never turn these settings on, then you never knew about it. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't affect you too much, right? And I'm I'm getting I'm getting lots of you know emails and questions saying, "What do I do? My Google Photos isn't going to be synchronizing anymore." You know, yes, it is. It's only to Google Drive. So let me tell you a little bit more detail, and I want to actually I want to actually demo how it does work now because they, they are not turning it off until july 10. right or at least that's when they say that they're turning this off so i can show you how it works right now first from the google drive side and then from the google photos side so first i'm going to go to google drive show you the google photos folder take a picture with my phone and show that it appears both in google photos and google drive so let me do let me do that first. So I'll go to Google Drive and in my drive. So are you seeing my Google Drive? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> never, never sure with these systems. What? <laughs> yeah, no, we see it. Yep. It's good. So it's this one right here where it says Google Photos Chris. Mm -hmm. and I have lots of Google Photos stuff, but this is the official. And if I click on there, it has collected, and this, this was kind of cool. It collects all the photos in Google Drive that I have ever uploaded to Google Photos, and it puts them in a folder by year, and then within the year by month. Yeah, so, that's right. yeah, so here are all the photos that are from July 2002. And yeah, that's kind of cool, but okay. But then you have to remember when you took the picture you're looking for. Well, you, yeah, yeah. If, if you're looking for it in mm -hmm. here, then yes. But it's, it is a nice organized way of, of storing your photos. But I got to tell you, I mean, I've come here and just said, oh, isn't that cool? And that's it. I have yeah. never, ever. <laughs> used this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've never used the fact that they're in here because yes, when I go to my Google photos, I have all the wonderful search capabilities and, and all that, you know, I can, I can search for beer in Google photos. Right. And it will pull up all the okay. photos that have something that looks like a beer. That's awesome in it. Mm -hmm. I can't do that in Google Drive. Right. So Google Photos is where I work with my photos. Mm -hmm. They are right now going to Google Drive. Oh, I didn't show you the setting. Ah. So in Google Drive, under the gear and settings, it's this setting right here, create. Oh, mine is off. <laughs> when did that happen? I must have been playing with this. Doing his <laughs> so and and what that means is while it's off, nothing is coming over. But if I turn it back on again, everything that has been added to Google Photos since it was last on, yeah. Here. This <clears throat> is the setting that is going away. So gotcha. after July 10, if you go to Google Drive and you go to your settings, this created Google Photos will not be there. Yep. Are you ever looking through those, some of those past photos there and just uh, kind of pull up and see one and say, Hey Jim, who's this girl in this picture with you in this one? <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. There are a few of those. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the setting that gets, so let me take a picture. Let me stop sharing and just show you. Take a photo. If I, if I now just, take my phone and 
snap a selfie of me and you guys here. <laughs> on the, Smile. Now, now I've got to clean the lens. I can see it looks a little foggy. So if you clean that lens, it'll look a lot clearer. <laughs> okay. Now I look at Google Photo. That that photo taken by my phone is seen mm -hmm. by Google Photos and it will go up to Google Photos. But because I know that the setting is on, on Google Drive, it should also go to Google Drive. Let's take a look and see if it did. So share screen and share. And Google Photos, it, there is no beer in that photo. So <laughs> let me just do a refresh. You gotta go to Google Drive, you're in photos right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, I wanted to show that it does go to Google Photos. Yeah, that's there. And now because of the setting to create a folder, it should also be in Google Drive under 2019-06. This is what always took forever for it to get to me. So this Yeah, is this is what never worked for me. No. I can't wait to see how I would have to wait a long time to see it in there. Interesting. Uh, well, you know, like I say, I really don't use this very much, so it might not be here yet, but I'm pretty confident that or it will. My last modifier here. might go up to the top. So last modified and June 20. So today it should be June 26. Mm -hmm. so Going down. It's the other way. There you go. There right. it is. How about that? Okay. So... <clears throat> So That's that right. so that worked. A photo taken with my phone is now copied, kind of, sort of. See, that's what was a problem. It's not really copied. If I delete it from Drive, it will be deleted in Google Photos. Oh, wow. And, and that's what people did not understand. So, yeah, I'm going to remove it. So the question I've always had about that is it's not really a copy, but is it counting against my storage? No, it is not. Mm. Not if it was uploaded in high quality. So if it's not counting against your storage in Google Photos, when it finds its way over to Google Drive, it is not counting there either. Okay. As long as you took the photo with Google Photos, is that right? Well, with a device that is using Google Photos, yes. Right, yes, okay. Yeah, 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 okay. Like something from my gallery that I move up to Google Drive would not do anything. It, it would count against it because it wasn't taken through Google Photos. Exactly. Okay. 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 So, yeah, did people understand that? Say, say, say that again, Michael. So basically, if I have something on my gallery, not in Google Photos, but in my gallery, and I upload that to that same Google Drive folder, that's going to count against it because it wasn't taken with Google Photos. That was a photo that was just added from my gallery. Right. And, and that's what I will do next. So if something is added directly mm -hmm. to Google Drive, then it counts. Okay. And you Got can it. tell that if I go back. Oh, I'm not sharing, am I? Let me, let me share again. Okay. And if I go back to Google Drive, you can tell what's counting and what's not. Over in Google Drive, if I click on a photo, and then over on the right here, click on Details, mm -hmm. it tells me storage used zero bytes. Oh, oh that's where you find that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if it's in this Google Photos folder, if you've been using high quality as your Google Photos setting, then it is it is zero bytes. I need to use this for my diet plan. Zero bytes would be good. <laughs> <laughs> It'll keep me out of trouble. All right, anyway. <laughs> okay. So now on the Google Photos side, yeah. there's a setting that will get photos that you did upload directly to Google Drive. Now, this in my opinion, is just much more less likely to happen, but some people do use it. Right, right. Settings and Google Drive. Sync photos and videos from Google Drive. I got you. 
if you have turned it on, that means anything that you upload directly to Google Drive will show up. Interesting. So, so let's, oh. let's. But not anymore, it. right? Not July 10th. Not until July 10th, right? Well, yeah. this does still work right now. Right. No, it works right now. Yeah, yeah, I got right. it. This setting will no longer be there mm -hmm. after July 10th. Gotcha. Or whenever they actually, you know, who knows, right? The announcement is that on July 10th, mm -hmm. that setting is going away. All right. So let me go back to Google Drive. And I'm going to click new and file upload. So this is uploading something directly to Google Drive. And I have an external hard drive here, my Seagate backup. And I have a couple of photos from my stock photo. You know, that I, 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 I like them for some photos I need for articles. So let's say I want to upload those directly to Google Drive. Uploading two items. Now there these will count. Against. Yeah. Oh, now look at that mm -hmm. though. I accidentally, I uploaded them to my Google Photos. I didn't mean to do that. I meant it to be a separate folder. Right. So let me see if I can. It still uh, shows as data though, right? Well, does it? Yeah, it's got storage used, but. Storage it's... used, yes. Yes. Okay. Just because I uploaded them to that folder doesn't, yep. yeah. I still uploaded them directly to Google Drive, so they are using using. Oh, somebody just subscribed. Oh. Oh, Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> or did he just send a super chat? No, it said subscribe. That was weird. Subscribed. That is weird. I thought he was already subscribed, but whatever. <laughs> now, if I go to photos, are those there? No, no, but wouldn't they be listed based on the date they were created? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But I've I've it, recently it, experienced this. Yeah, but Google Drive isn't showing me the date, huh? But because I, I uploaded a photo from something that I took a while ago, but didn't have it in my photos, I must have deleted it and I had it on my computer. So I'm like, oh, well, that's fine. I'll just put it in here. And I couldn't find it. And I had to scroll all the way down to when I took it. And there it was. Exactly. So and weird. That, that people need to understand. About. So, mm -hmm. so let's see. This one says date taken. See, the Google Drive didn't have date taken listed, but date taken was August 2006. Mm. So let's see if going to Google Photos and searching for August, I'm going to search for the whole month because. But then I'll show you an easier way. Thanks for the super chat, Russ. Yes, Russ, thank you very much. Very nice of you with a super chat. Appreciate it. I don't see it there either. So let me show you the, the way that should show it is by default, Google Photos shows you photos in date taken order, but you can look at them in date uploaded order. So oh. we them today, and the way you do that is you click on, let me go back to the beginning here, just to, the way you do that is you click on search and then there was a show more and now at the bottom, there's recently added. Oh, I have needed to know this, Chris. Mm -hmm. All right. So they didn't get added. They didn't get added. Yeah, that's a very useful thing. And uh, notice the URL up here. Mm -hmm. Photos.google.com slash search underscore T-R-A. You know, recent T. I don't know what the T is for, but recently added. And that will show you, but I usually do it by going here. All right. So I'm wondering if it's because they ended up in that Google Photos folder, and that's just not one that it's looking at. 
So I'm going to move that using Drive. So I'm back in Drive, and I'm going to move that picture to a folder. I'm going to make a new folder called iStock Photo. and move it to there. Okay, so now they're not in that Google Photos, which is a special folder. So, so there's iStock Photo. All right, so Russ, I don't know, can I, can I ask a qu question or show something that's being said here? Yeah. So Russ says, if you take a photo from your phone and share directly to Facebook, the photo will be shared from Google Photo. Do you, do you guys understand what he's saying? I think I do. Because if, if you share from the computer, if you go to the computer, yeah, this is something completely different. This has nothing to do with Drive. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh. But if I, if I take this photo of our wonderful iguanas around here, which we hate, and... <laughs> you're, not, you're not sharing. And, oh, I'm not sharing my screen. Sorry. That's all right. No worries. <laughs> This really works pretty easily. This uh, yeah, like, I don't like that autofocus. It keeps messing with my backdrop. I need to change that whenever I get in here beforehand. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now you're on screen. To share to Facebook, then yeah, it's kind of ugly. It creates an album and it puts a link to the album in Facebook. And yeah, I don't like that. But yeah. if you share it from your phone. If you open the photo, even using Google Photos, but if you open the photo from your phone and click the share button, it shares the photo over to Facebook. So that's my my little trick for that. Okay, now let's go back to August 20, 2006 again. That's right. Where were you on August? I feel like I'm being reprimanded. <laughs> no, that photo still isn't showing up. Hmm. Well, maybe that part it doesn't matter. It's not. It's going to be broken. Not going to work yeah, anymore. That particular anymore. thing that isn't working won't be working after July 11th. Anyway, right. so. It's not working well now, and it's not going to work at all. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe that point has been proven. Very good, Chris. <laughs> Look at Ross from Australia coming in, popping in. She says, "Just woke oh up my goodness." You know, she was at my show this morning. How sweet. What, my, <laughs> my, my this morning, her last night. Yeah. I think. I don't know. I don't know how it works. <laughs> it's like four days from now in Australia, so I don't know how it works. She's really getting tired of you, Heather. She's like, oh, my God, I see her everywhere. I see you everywhere I go, Roz. <laughs> okay, so Facebook share has changed. Oh, Interesting. Oh, really? Facebook Facebook changes pretty much every other day, so I True. can see that happening. All right. Well, let's see if what I just said is is true. Now, um, doesn't it matter, though, if you have the Facebook app on your phone or not? Because I do not have the Facebook app on my phone, so I can't share a photo from my Google that, Photos to that, Facebook. That, yeah. Yeah, you can't. You can only I just share... share I just share it to um, the web version. That's how I do it. But. Yep. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, he says that it's changed. I don't know. Oh, I don't need to share this time. I need to change my camera because I have a. Uh, well, she's doing that. I'll put your uh, camera on my phone. Oh, there you cool. Go. Look at that. You can see the phone. And now, so you're seeing the phone? Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, great. So if I take that picture, this is an Android phone. So there's the share button. And go to Facebook. And yes, you do need to have the app on to share to Facebook. And note, mm -hmm. it's going to get the full picture when mm -hmm. you do it from the phone. Mm -hmm. right. when you do it from the computer, it creates an album and it gives you a link and it just gives a thumbnail. 
in the on the Facebook. Yeah, so I'm I'm not actually going to do that. <laughs> Besides, he needs to be he needs to be fixed up a little bit here. <laughs> we need some auto and we need a crop. <laughs> so that is that is my favorite thing about I photos. do. I love I'm you know, I'm doing the live the live show. No, don't take, don't put me on, show what she's doing. I'm doing the live show with my art and everything. And I pick up my phone, I snap a picture, I do what you're doing so quickly, boom, 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 share it on Instagram. And then everybody gets to see like the true colors instead of what's happening here in the monitors, you know? I mean, and that's such a better picture. Yeah. So and it's so cool. like, bam, like you're an awesome photographer. Check it out. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'll just say, uh, just know how to edit. Exactly. One of my one of the favorite classes that we teach when we're live in front of people is uh, called um, "Take Take Your Best Shot and Make It Better." So we teach them about the settings on their phone camera settings so that you take the best shot possible, but then make it better by mm. just, just doing a few clicks with editing. Very That's cool. cool. Very cool. Miss Sheila says, "Hey, sorry, she's hey, late." Sheila. <laughs> all right. I have all right. more slides to finish the Google yeah. Drive all right. issue. Yep. Pull and, whatever issues, right? And, I then, swear. <laughs> and then just open it up. Yeah, sounds good. So. Sounds good. Okay, so we did the demo. We showed from Google Drive, it can go to Google Photos, and from Google Photos, it can go to Google Drive, although that one didn't work. But, uh, then <laughs> we demonstrated what doesn't really right right <laughs> so so there's these two settings these are the things that are going away if in the google drive setting you have automatically put your folders in a photos in a folder so you can't even say it right let alone I know. It. I know. but the, the point is there was a sync from one to the other both ways and now there won't be. Now, what's not changing, a whole other aspect to this is the software that's on your computer called Backup and Sync. And Backup and Sync on the computer can, can keep synced with Google Drive. Any photos you put on your computer can go up to Google Drive. Any photos in Google Drive can come down to your computer. Right. There's no direct line between photos and drive. There's no direct line. It would have to be manually done. From now on. Yes. Right. That's what I mean. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so, but th this is, this part is not changing. You can put a photo on your computer and it can go to both Google drive and to Google photos and not count against your data. Oh, okay. That's good to know too. So the thing that people are missing I mean, the thing that some people used Google Drive and the Google Photos folder to get the phone photos down to their computer's hard drive. So start start over on the left with the phone. You take a picture with a phone, it goes to Google Photos. The setting did allow you to send from Google Photos over to Google Drive and then back up and sync could get it from Google Drive down to your computer. A lot of people used that. I didn't. You know, I don't want 60,000 photos. Mm. On I, I will admit that is how I used to do it on my old computer. And when I got my new computer, I was panicked about all of that stuff coming back onto my new computer and bogging it down. So I never turned back up and sync on on my on my computer hard drive. Never. Because exactly. it scared the daylights out of me. I mean, I take a lot of pictures. Right. Right, and you don't want them all. I mean, that's no. The that's what the, they they're in the cloud. Can't they just stay in the cloud? Like, and when I need them, I just reach up there and grab one. Yeah, exactly. But <laughs> is that a backup then? I mean, so you take a. Well, picture so many people think it is. I'm just saying. I know where you're going with this, and so many people think that that's a backup. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, the, the, what's on the screen right now, that is a backup. You take it right. with your phone, it's in Google Photos, it's in Google Drive, and it's on your computer. So right. now redundancy. you your phone and you have at least one 
extra copy. Right. But, yeah. you know, what's my next slide? Oh, but when that goes away, oh, right. Yeah, when that goes away, look at that. You take a picture with your phone, it goes to Google Photos, it cannot get over to Google Drive and down to your computer anymore mm. after, after this change happens on July 10th. So what you're saying is after this change takes place, if all goes smoothly, maybe I wait a day or two, I could actually turn back up and sync back on on my computer and be able to get the things that I need, the, the, the documents and things that I need backed up on my computer so I could use them anytime offline, but not be inundated by all the videos and images that I have been in the past. Yes, but you could have done that before the change. You know, there's just some checkboxes. Just boxes undo the there. check boxes. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. I always thought they were so hand in hand. There was like, no way I was doing it. No way. No way. Yeah. The backup and sync is is quite a sophisticated piece of software, actually. Yeah. Just being a little old utility. So, so this is a problem, actually. I mean, if people had depended on the connection between Photos and Drive to get pictures to their computer and they wanted that, they cannot do it with Google products anymore. Mm. I recommend OneDrive which I think is a smarter way to go anyway. If you want a backup, don't you want it on a different system than, than the one which is your main storage? You know, OneDrive or Dropbox has mm -hmm. an app that goes on your phone and will just like Google Photos, upload all your photos to your account, your Microsoft OneDrive account or your Dropbox account. And if you want, but you don't have to, it will come down to your computer. Mm. So read more. And <laughs> so there is an official announcement that I wrote an article on my Learn Google Photos website. I also wrote an article on my Geeks on Tour. And then Peggy Kay's article is good. Now, if you want, if you just, I know people looking at this can't click on these links. I could put them in the in the chat, but if you just go to geeksontour.com, click on blogs and news, then all articles, it's the first one. So let me, let me do that. If you go to geeksontour.com and this is the, the homepage, then under blogs and news and all articles, there's hundreds of articles here. Yes, there are. Yes, there are. Uh, and the very top one is questions about Google Drive breaking up with Google Photos. <laughs> it's a divorce. It's not a breakup. Yeah. Yeah, they ain't getting back together. No. It just depends whether they're going to be on Mari Povich or whether they're going to be on Mari Povich. <laughs> <laughs> and here I have a link to the official announcement and to my other article. So Awesome. And the same, some of the same graphics that we just that we just went through. Very cool. So if the, if any of this was over your head, head over to the website, click those links and get right there and you can t you can digest it however slowly you need. Right. And I recommend you uh, sign up for them even if it's for a year. I really do because I did it. I went ahead and did it and I, I there's so much if you like to read or you look at stuff and you have some quality time that you want to look over stuff. I have uh, it's called read aloud on my phone and I go to geeks on tour. And what I'll do is I'll just have like whole articles and stuff and just let it read to me while I'm driving or whatever. I just let it sit there on my phone and do that. So I, I recommend it. It's really good stuff. We good got a question, question here from Mark. I'm going to put it up, but I wanted to make sure we saw Jim popped in. So <laughs> hey, Jim. The, the way the comments work, it covers you up. So I had to say hi before it covers you up. You can look above, you know, but yeah, all right, question. This is from Mark. It says, uh, how do I back up my Google Photos to a Dropbox folder automatically? Okay. Uh, let me go back and I can show you exactly. It's a setting in the Dropbox app on your phone. Awesome. It's a setting called camera uploads. And yeah, I can, uh, I can show you. While you're doing that, I'm going to put this up here. Um, Whoop, that was the wrong one. Sorry about that. <laughs> Richard mm -hmm. says he has a one terabyte of space on OneDrive free exactly. from his phone company. Wow. Exactly. Lots of people do. 
Um, if you use Microsoft Office 365, you get a terabyte of space. So let me see. On your phone, you do need to have the Dropbox app. So let me see. Where is my Dropbox app? There it is. Dropbox app. Michael, make it bigger. And then, and then there's settings somewhere. Settings. And camera uploads. Mine is off because I'm using OneDrive. I don't need another backup. Right. But at one point in time, I did use Dropbox. If you turn that on, every photo taken with this device goes to your Dropbox in the camera uploads folder. And, and as long as I'm here, let me show you the OneDrive one then too. Uh, Microsoft OneDrive. And once again, it's a setting. Let me see. Where was settings here? Under me, I think. Me mm -hmm. and settings. And camera upload. Now, on my Microsoft OneDrive, I have mm -hmm. camera upload on. Nice. So anytime your camera takes a picture, it's going to upload to OneDrive. Is that what it's saying? Exactly. Okay. Just and I'm sure using that. 196 gigabytes of one terabyte on there and i can see my photos yeah, come and open it they don't upload unless the app is open so you do have to come in here and check oh interesting before you delete them from the phone mm -hmm. you know but if i if my google photos says everything's uploaded and my microsoft onedrive says everything up is uploaded now i feel perfectly comfortable in going to my google photos and doing the free up space, which yeah. will delete yep. everything from the phone. Gotcha. Cool. If I need to. This phone has 128 gigabytes. Right. I'm letting it right. ride. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll risk it. Mark says, thank you. Richard says, I have that too, since I have 365. What do we got here from Warren? Warren, welcome to the show. Drive will connect to Google Photos to insert a photo to a doc? Yes. I think what you say, it's a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Drive has better functionality right. for embedding photos in other things. In a doc, in a Google so doc or whatever. If, if you use that functionality, you will, you will miss the fact that your photos don't automatically go to Drive. Mm -hmm. um, Great comment here from Rick Mortimer. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for all your help, Chris. You are a good teacher, and I, I concur. She Very is good. Indeed. One I have thing one. I didn't mention about another yeah. reason why I think it's so much better to use a third party like Microsoft OneDrive or Dropbox for making your second backup, it does original quality. Mm. Mm. So let Google Photos do the, the optimized quality mm -hmm. high quality and keep all your photos and work with them but if i should ever ever want my original i know i have it mm -hmm. i told you this the other day and this is why i'm going to tell you this when i have photos this this was asking me three different ways three different ways so i want i want you to show people that they actually don't have it in their library yet. So when I have photos that someone sent me in an album, those are not in my photos yet. This is this is me rephrasing all that. Okay. Because my wife is one of those that's included in that. She's like, oh my God, you took some great photos and I saw them on my phone and now I can't find them. And I said, because you didn't add them to your photo. She's looking in photos. She's not looking in that album because okay. she doesn't remember when that album was or whatever, you know, that kind of thing. So let's, Let's show them that real quick, just so this is helpful and understanding for everyone. Okay, let's see. So here you I crack me up, Michael, because you're asked a question and then you answered the question, but that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it, Chris. <laughs> okay, so here I am at just my all my Google Photos. All right. Our, we had an unfortunate incident the other day in that our, our little motorhome road truck had to get towed. It, it wouldn't start <laughs> and it was something not too simple. So it had to get towed. And Jim took some pictures of that. Uh, I'm going to have to look away. 
I want. <laughs> <laughs> it's a so, personal thing. I'll just, I'll be all right. And that was just yesterday or the day before. So I can go back through my photos and there are no photos here of an RV being towed, right? Oh, praise God. Okay. <laughs> well, making me really nervous sorry right i have some P ptsd from that just, <laughs> it's fine but because he shares his entire library with me i can using the menu no using the sharing section mm -hmm. using the sh it used to be on the menu <laughs> they moved it using the sharing <laughs> section and this is the same on mobile too i just want to make sure right is that yes. correct okay yes. good Okay. And we can show it on mobile too if you want, but using the sharing section, I can just go to Jim's photos. Now I am seeing all of his photos. Now and this is all of his photos or just all that he has shared with you? This is all of his photos. It's called oh my shared goodness. library. It's a different thing. It's, it's shared libraries. Yeah. Like my oh. wife and I, you can only share with one person and I share with my wife. So I see all her photos. She sees all mine. I see. Anyway, anyway, go ahead. Sorry. So here is. Oh, my goodness. I can't video. Look. <laughs> I seriously can't look. <laughs> All right. Now, if perchance, so here's the one with it actually on the truck. If perchance I wanted this to be in my library, I'd have to click this save. If I click save, it is now in my library as well as his. It has been copied. Is that the same on mobile? I'm just questioning. Is it a cloud or is it save? Yeah, I think on mobile. Let me look here. Or I can. I uh, want to verify because I know on my mobile, I think that's what it I is. But I'm cloud not with a down arrow in it. Yeah. I think that's right. I think that's right. That's what I was at least, and I wanted to make sure that. Okay, so if this is her photos. And I want to get that same photo. I have to. Nice looking RV from Roz. So sharing. So here I'm looking at Jim's photos. And if I want that one, nope. Now, well, on the Android, it says save. Okay. Okay. That's what, that's what I have is Android. So maybe it is. Okay. But I think that's relatively new. It used to be a cloud with a down arrow in it. Maybe it's from, maybe it's from albums that you do that. Mm, yeah. Okay, maybe it's from the hope because with a shared album, with one click on that, you can get the entire album saved to your library. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 In uh, in my book. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm looking. I'm looking it up in my book. You know, I have to I have to remember things by by looking it up in my book now too. <laughs> and yeah, it was while viewing pictures shared with you. There's the cloud. That, it was that little icon. Yep. Yep. Good. That's very very helpful. Thank you so much because I know, like I said, three people have asked me that in the last week. So I was like, oh, good, Chris is coming on. Let me just make sure this in the video so we can do that. I want to show you one other thing, though, about that, because this is something sure. that most people don't know. So let's say, um, let's say, where is it? A sh an album that was shared with me. I'm looking at shared. Most of these albums are ones that I have shared, not shared with me. Share it with us. So I'm, yeah. I'm the photographer. In those. Okay, but here's one that I'm sh for sure. Do you know Mike Elgin? He he's a oh absolutely yes mm -hmm. a popular food blogger. Yeah, and he has decided he calls this Mike Elgin's nice book. Yeah, he's <laughs> a Facebook. It's nice book. Yeah, he's taken oh, he's forever, he's yeah. off of Facebook and he's just doing a shared photo album to share his life with his mm -hmm. friends. Mm -hmm. now, and these pictures are definitely mm -hmm. not in my library, and I don't want them in my library. But what if I check. Oh, and there's that little down. Yeah. Share oh, we're not screen. seeing. We're Share not screen. seeing it. Oh, I'm sharing. I'm sorry. Share screen. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So here is Mike Elgin's and these are all his photos. And yes, you're right. It must be with album because there's that little cloud with the down arrow. Exactly. There we go. So if I, and this has, this album has like 500 photos in it. Hit it if by accident. That button, all 500 photos are now in my library. Now, I, I wonder about this. If I'm sharing my library, if I'm Mike Elgin and I'm sharing my, my library like this, do I necessarily want everyone to be able to do that? Is there a setting that I can remove that option or no? I know. Download, is that what you're saying? Yeah, no. like, no. No, there is not. And here's the worst part. Here's what I do not like about that feature. If I should even accidentally... Mm -hmm. Actually, it might say it might give me an okay, but I'm not going to even try it. I don't remember. <laughs> right. It, it's a scary button. It puts them all in my library and in dates. So yes. it's not even in a group that I can see anymore. And if so, here's this one is really pretty. And I would have to go to June 21, 2019 to see that in my library. And it actually looks like the place where we've been to in Italy. And I might think that that's my picture. Right. And then you go use it and you could be in big trouble because yeah. now you've just stolen his picture. picture and I didn't even know it. I thought that was my picture. Yeah. Yeah. So that's something that really bugs me. Oh, okay. So we got it. We have a few questions. Do you want to handle some of those? Sure. Oh, but wait, wait. The thing I no. want to okay. say, let's say that I like seeing Mike Elgin's nice book a lot. And I want mm -hmm. to see it in, I want to go to it when I'm looking at my albums. I don't want to have to click on sharing. There's on this three bot, bot menu, show in albums. Oh, mm -hmm. interesting. That's pretty nice. Now it will appear in your normal list of albums rather than Ooh. in the sharing area. But still not be in your actual photos. Exactly. Okay. Phew. Exactly. All right. You can download individual photos, though, in which she, she showed that. You right. Can, mm -hmm. that one. That's how she did that one right there. Yep. Yeah, we got lots of questions. Okay, so first, Russ would like to know, is metadata lost on OneDrive? Oh, good question. That's, now, I know you're not you're not a OneDrive expert, but thought maybe you'd know. Well, I do use it. I But I actually use OneDrive as a pure backup. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I never touch those unless something has gone wrong, something has happened. I've mistakenly deleted from my Google Photos. Do I ever even notice them in OneDrive? Um, but I think that OneDrive is actually a bit better at collecting the, well, let's see, they show up and this isn't this, they show up in your photos on your Windows 10 machine as well. Mm, interesting. Screen. So yeah, I can just go to my photos and oops. Uh, apparently something new has happened. We've enabled new settings for people feature. Oh, sure. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> and look, looky there. Here is the photo that I just took tonight. It's showing up in my one, in my photos on my computer, but that's mm. not actually on my hard drive. I am viewing them from the cloud. All right. Gotcha. And what metadata do we have? File info. So there's a file name, a date, a size, ISO, the device that took it, source, cloud only, and a location. Pretty good. Wowzers. Okay. All right. So the next thing from Richard is, as I recall, when you share an album, um, when you share an album, you can only delete pictures that you uploaded to it and not the other person's pictures. I'm curious about this. What if it's your album and other people that you've invited to share? Um, pictures to it. So like two questions there, I guess. So you're in an album with other people. Can you only delete your own? I'm in an album I created. Can I delete other people's? Both if, questions. If you own the album. You can do whatever you want. Control. You mm -hmm. can delete others. Mm -hmm. You cannot edit their photos. Okay. But you can remove them from the album. Okay. Now, if you're in an album with other people, we've all added our stuff. I can only delete my own. Correct. Okay. That's correct. 
Correct. If you are not the owner of the album, the only photos you have control over is yours. All right. And I was really glad to read this. It's back home. There's no no big deal with the oh, RV oh, thing. Oh, God. RV. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Cool. He, he was able oh, to get it back. And and Roz really likes the colors on your mouse. I just had to share. <laughs> I have to share these things, you understand. I, do. I like that. We don't, I know there's more questions. I know there's a lot of questions. We might hit a couple more, um, but I, I want to get into the after party with the community. So I'm going to invite mm -hmm. them in just a second. Sure. Um, if you um, go ahead, go ahead and throw those up there. That's fine. Go ahead. All right. This may be too basic, but I'm trying to have coworkers share their work only photo. I think with me can, can this be done on goofy photo? <laughs> I think that was translated <laughs> Google photos. Google photos. Can it be done? It can be done in goofy photos. I know I've done it. <laughs> she does. She does clarify it. Okay. I know. <laughs> I think if, if, unless there's people in it, there's no automatic way to put photos into an album. They could certainly make an album of their work yeah. photos and okay. add only their work photos to it and share that with you. I, if I share that, yeah. The okay. Question. Can you mass delete from your library? And and actually, I think we should just wait and let these uh, people ask in the after party, but can you mass delete? Yeah. As long as they're in one group, you can click at the beginning and shift click at the end and delete them all. All right, so the rest of the questions that I see are from uh, folks well. We got this one here from Rick. Uh, have you fixed the become a member system on your site? <laughs> it would not let me sign up two days ago. Him. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for trying. You know, we, we definitely want to get you in as a member. Um, I didn't think there was anything. We had a new member register today, so it should be working. And I will just make a note to for Jim to make sure to contact Rick Mortimer. Thank you. There you go. All right. Yeah, so, so sign up, sign up just for a month or whatever, a year or whatever. Seriously, it's only, I think it's $58, $68, whatever it is. It's worth it for that year just to get some information, great reading material, and learn a heck of a lot. I mean, I love it. I think it's awesome. And I really appreciate you coming on too. And you can ask questions. If, if you're a member, oh, you can ask specific, any question you want. Exactly. And I'll form. It's pretty awesome. And members of the Tinkering with Tech community actually get to come in here and ask you some questions. Is that right, Chris? You're going to yeah, stick around yeah. a little bit. So, so that's why I didn't bring up your question, Mark, or any of, of, of those of you who are members of the Tinkering with Tech community. We're going to give you the link. You can come on in here and ask Chris your questions personally. Another perk of being a Tinkering with Tech community member. Yes. And I just want to say thank you. And I will put your website back up there one more time, but thank you so much. So very much for coming on. We really do appreciate it, Chris. And, and I, my suggestion for Rick Mortimer is if you're still having trouble, make sure you send them a contact us message. Mm -hmm. Let them know so that they don't lose track of you and they get you on there right away because lots yeah, of info. I, I think you did. So Okay, good. Maybe it slips through the cracks. We'll make sure to take care of it. Good stuff. <laughs> good. All right. Thanks, thanks, everybody, for joining us live. And I really appreciate being able to talk to you about Google Photos and the, the divorce. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. We will talk soon. Thank you.